Hi, welcome again. And this is another video about terrain magic. In this masterclass, we're gonna work on how we can work with high data in terrain magic and how we can manipulate that and do very interesting things. Uh, let me show you first. And I have some like landscape clips over here. I can move it here and there if I like. So I can position it. Nothing uh, interesting. I can do that. But here we have some sort of platform in the middle. So I can increase it. So you can increase that specific platform. And I can put it down if I want. And I can even change the shape. Uh, like here, this is quite like a square. And I can increase the uh, padding value and it will become like a circle. And But I can use a circular as well. And I can change this value. So there are so many options out there. And you can play with this uh, tool. And also there are some height ranges and we have to talk a lot about things. So let's get started. Right. In order to have this, you need to have a basic landscape and also you need to have a landscape material applied to your landscape. It's not required, but it's really nice to have auto material applied so you can see the height changes. So here I'm using open land, but it's not a requirement. You can use any auto material you have. And then uh, you need to enable a special option in uh, this landscape called edit uh, layers, enable edit layers. So this is the feature that we use uh, with Terrain Magic. And of course, you need to have Terrain Magic added to your project. You can check that word edit uh, plugins and make sure you have Terrain Magic. Right, make sure this is enabled. So then we are good to go. First thing is I need to add the landscape clip brush. So we are working with the lands landscape clip system in uh, Terrain Magic. So it's quite easy to use. Uh, so first, we need to add some initial settings and go to your landscape mode. And here there's a sculpt section, bl blueprints. And here we have a blueprint brush called Terrain Magic Clip Brush. So this is the one you need to use. And simply click anywhere on the landscape. So it will add a brush like this. And it, it, it won't do anything to your screen, but so this is it. And I'm gonna go out of my landscape mode and this is it. So I can uh, save this uh, level. Right, we are good to go. So let's start with uh, height ranges. So before we do that, let's put our landscape clips into the scene. If you're not familiar with landscape clips, uh, check one of my videos about landscape clips. So you get a little bit understanding of what's going on there. Uh, but anyway, you can follow around this tutorial and I'll, I'll talk plenty about them. Right. So go to the place actors and I'm going to search for height map landscape clips. So this is the something easy to work with. Uh, so I'm going to put it over here and I'm going to hit uh, go to the details panel. And here we have some sort of buttons called match landscape size, right? It will expand to my whole landscape. You might need to click twice for the first time. Okay, uh, that's fine. Now I'm going to put uh, some sort of like a uh, height map over here. And Terrain Magic comes with a couple of height maps. Uh, you can import anything you like. But here uh, we have some couple of height maps. How you can see this is uh, go to this content browser settings page. Make sure you enable show engine content and show plugin content. And then uh, from over here in the search bar, search for Terrain Magic. Uh, so here we have a directory called Terrain Magic Content and Height Maps. This is where the height map exists. So I'm going to grab the first one. Okay. And I'm going to hit uh, Invalidate. So every time you change something in this screen, except for some of the options over here, so you need to invalidate that. So if you change some settings, you need to invalidate. So we could do this automatically, but this invalidating process basically changing the whole landscape takes some time. Sometimes doing it automatically seems like lagging things, but it's really nice to like change some settings, you know, and it's, it's, it's nice to have. And the click in this button is not that uh, ideal if you are in the bottom of these settings. And uh, that's why we added this button over here. You can click that. And again, if you change something and coming over here, again, not ideal. So that's why we have a, a shortcut called Alt Q. So you can uh, press your or left alt and q and in, in invalidate settings for example let me uh, for example for here let me change the height multiplier i'll talk about this in a soon and i'll hit alt q and it will actually reduce the uh, height of this landscape so here i'm not gonna tell you that i'm gonna press alt q all the time when i was changing some settings so basically uh, behind the scenes uh, you, you can see that I change some options over here and I hit alt key all the time so that's how you can uh, see these changes on the screen so now we are okay with that so we can continue with our tutorial all right the first thing we need to talk about the height range so what are the height values that we can work with 
So Terra Magic system use the uh, built-in uh, uh, landscape edit functionality, a uh, blueprint bus system uh, with Unreal. So here we work with 16-bit height data. So basically that means you have uh, almost 64,000 uh, values to play with. So here we divided that by 2 minus 32,000 to plus 32 to minus 1,000. So basically you have ground value and you can, for example, this is the ground and this is the highest that you can go, uh, plus 32,000. And over here, bottom over here, you have the minus 32,000. But here we are not going that far, but you, you get the idea. Like So this is the range. When you get a height map from over here or from some Earth landscape clips or somewhere else, so you have a range in a height map, uh, usually from 0 to 1. Uh, within the Unreal Engine, this terrain map system, we convert that into a range between minus 1 to 1. And then we multiply that by the height multiplier. So that's how we can get these uh, 64,000 values. So you can have the full detail landscape that you show on over here. All right, uh, now this is uh, quite interesting. So when you're working with some external software to create height maps, uh, they work differently. Here, this landscape is created using Houdini. Houdini thinks about the ground layer as 0.5. The ground layer is the normal as 0.5 in Houdini, but I have seen some users uh, using Gaia and their ground layer is uh, the zero. But I think it's the uh, exposed settings or something, but uh, you need to think about that one when you're importing, but it's not a big deal, but you can, uh, change that to whatever you like uh, over here right and you can change these height ranges in this uh, modify height section of uh, any landscape clips we have and uh, we have input range this is 0 to 1 and then you can uh, go um, change this value like minus 1 to 1 so for example I can go uh, beyond 1 over here I can increase so it's too much I guess like okay, let's do something like this you, you can see like yes here is, we can see some clipping likewise we can go below one minus one and you can see some clipping at the bottom as well right so sometimes you can work with this and this is neat right now I'm going to talk about height saturation so this is a very uh, important concept uh, so along with the ranges so I mentioned that uh, when you are inputting a height map, it has a range between 0 to one, zero and 1. And so now with height saturation, we are manipulating that 0 to 1 range. For example, if we increase the height saturation value uh, more than 1, so basically it will uh, increase the highest value further and also decrease the lowest value lower. Uh, I can show you. Uh, so here we have uh, some sort of hole in our landscape. You can see over here. But if I increase this height trash saturation to like something, something around 3, now you can see. Now we don't have this hole anymore. So all the lowest value uh, reaches to 0, almost 0, and highest value goes to like almost 1. So that's how we have something like this. So basically now we don't have a hole over here. Now we have a nice looking landscape. So I like this, but you can see this is like too pointy, uh, this uh, mountain. So we have a couple of options. So I can reduce the height multiplier right then uh, yeah that's that's something you can do all right here what's happening here is this ground level layer is minus 72,000 over here and the maximum value is the plus uh, 72,000 and zero is somewhere or in, in the middle but let's imagine that you need to keep the zero as the ground level so that's how you can see this ground need to be on zero so in this case I put this height multiplier back to the default 30,000 and then from the output minimum, you can set to zero. Like the ground is always going to zero. We will lose some data, but in this case, I think it's, it's fine. So now you, you have it. Like this is the ground level, zero. And this is the uh, the top. And yeah, this is it. And uh, with high saturation, you, you can do this. All right, now you understand both the height ranges and also the height saturation, also the multiplier. So now you can like play around with these values and like modify your, your height map already create height map to your liking uh, almost instant in real time right before we go any further i like to delete this height map landscape clip i'm gonna bring a earth landscape clip so with some earth data uh, because like uh, i like that like, right? uh, i'm gonna search for earth over here and here I'm going to drag the earth landscape clip and I'm going to expand by clicking this match landscape size to hold my landscape. Uh, you need to click twice for the first time. So make sure you can see this uh, yellow color boundary box. Uh, right. And then I'm going to use some earth data. You can uh, click the open the map and get some earth information. Uh, and check my video on uh, importing real world terrain data. I explain more about this uh, earth landscape clip. But here we just want to click this map 
and get some position over here right i already uh, selected the place over here i'm gonna copy that simply you need to click that it will copy some code into your clipboard go to unreal and put the tile info screen over here i'm gonna hit uh, download the tile it will download it and uh, yeah save it to me uh, pretty cool and here uh, with this earth uh, landscape clip we have some uh, height range option so basically this will modify the uh, the values in the height map range it's like a preset value so it's like it's easy uh, to work with this tool uh, sometimes i'm gonna go only positive changes so basically here we have the range between zero to one so it will uh, set the output mean to zero zero and one and here i'm gonna use negative positive and negative that's the default you can get a full data over here so i think i, I really like to work with this uh, data i like it All right and before we work on this I need to talk about something called base landscape clips. So base value for our landscape. Right now, by default, the base value is zero. Okay, it's, it's decent. You can work with zero. But in this case, we are working with uh, the uh, full range minus one to one. So our ground level is almost the minus one. So the old, the bottom layer. When you're working there, it's a really good idea to set the the, the base uh, ground value to this minus one or the, uh, the minimum value, the minus 32,000 value uh, so that that really helpful to blend with multiple uh, landscape clips like this right in order to work with uh, we have a special landscape clip I go to place actors i'm gonna search for base and we have something called base landscape clip i'm gonna drag this into my scene so it won't uh, give you a bounty box because it applies to everything and here i go to details panel and i can set some settings so here we have the base value and we have some presets over here so base value is by default zero yeah that's fine i'm gonna hit alt q or click this button in date for the first time and now you have this one and it will override the my existing earth landscape clip that's fine i'll talk about that in a moment right here i'm gonna as you can see this is the ground level it's zero i can put it to like uh, absolute minimum then it's go to the bottom and i can go to absolute maximum so it's go to the top over here and also you can change the base value by default as well like can put a value you like but here i'm just want to set it to absolute minimum that's how we're working with right so, so now there's our earth landscape clips that's the uh, that's the interesting things so what's happening here is we have an order of rendering these landscape clips here we have a value called z index on each and every landscape clips so the, the order is lowest value landscape clips will get rendered earlier and after that it's, it's rendering on top of each other so here uh, the problem is now base landscape clips has the z index of two and us landscape clips has z index of one so that's the problem so we need to reverse that so i'm going to set the base landscape clips to uh, like z index to one and earth landscape clip to z index to two and i'm going to hit alt q and now we have it okay pretty cool pretty cool so this is all we have and i think we can now work one with this right okay now let's try to do some fading of this uh, landscape clip and this is uh, quite important in some scenarios and here uh, uh, i set my landscape clip, earth landscape clip uh, to my range to positive two and negative so basically it will go to uh, minus one to one cool and then uh, here we have some option called fading okay over here i'm gonna set the fade mode to let's say circular i'm gonna hit alt q so what's happening here is we will get uh, like a, like a mountain like this okay it's cool i need more details but before we do that we have a very interesting thing to mind so here we have the fade minimum the by default fade is minimum to the ground zero level okay in the, in the height range but here we need to go to the height map range output min so minus one because we need to go that to the the, the ground level the total bottom so i'm gonna hit alt q and now we have it so it will fade to the bottom of my landscape pretty cool i can uh, reduce the uh, fade mask span to like almost zero you get the whole uh, landscape like this okay so i think i'm gonna go with the zero points some value like this okay cool and then i'm gonna increase the fade saturation so it's just like the saturation in earlier but this will saturate the fading area uh, i'm gonna not maybe i'm not gonna touch it a bit maybe a little bit all right okay i think this this will yeah this is this is fine yeah okay i think i'm gonna work yeah this is cool 
all right now we have this so now we know how to do fading and it's quite quite important uh, to have this right now uh let's talk about the uh pre-positioning our last clip it's quite easy so you have this x y and t positions i can uh like copy this landscape clip to anywhere I like alt q and basically invalidate and so we can simply change it to anywhere we like okay that's pretty cool i'm gonna hit uh match landscape slice because i need to be a ton center cool and then we have this uh c axis uh i can change the c axis so basically get the idea you can push it back to the bottom and also you can uh, increase it yeah so you have that options again you can uh, hit the match landscape slice to like uh, uh reset that to the the center of the landscape yeah and you can do that all the time if you want to revert some changes that you made all right right now i'm trying to like bring all these things that we learned i'm going to try to create a stage on this uh, uh this mountain and here's how i'm gonna here's how, how i'm gonna do that i'm gonna uh get a copy of this earth landscape clip so here's how, uh, how i'm gonna do it i'm gonna click this earth landscape clip and i'm gonna hit alter and i'm gonna drag this to somewhere over here right then if you create a copy of my landscape clip but in this case uh we don't have the height data again i need to download it uh, again so just you need to click this download tile button so it will download the landscape clips okay now we have it okay cool so now we can easily blend them together like this so by default the blending mode is called copy blending mode so it's it's the the mode that you can use for 99.99 percent .99 time so you can use that one it it does the uh, blending uh, really nicely so you can see the blending mode over here and you can use uh, blending mode to add so basically it will add things over here and it won't work really well over here and honestly i can use average sometimes but so basically stick with uh, the copy right now i'm trying to create us like a some sort of like a stage over here and here's how i'm trying to do it i'm gonna uh, like change the size of this last clip a little bit by scale it down okay now we have it now i'm gonna reduce the height of this uh landscape clip yeah let's put some value like this okay all right then if i need i can reduce the height saturation so basically flattening out everything but yeah this is fine i'm going yeah 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 I'm, I'm gonna stay with something like this all right then i can put it back into the middle of my mountain all right i think i can uh, reduce the scale it a little bit further right now i can uh, yeah, 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 have a stage like this okay get the idea i can put it down if i need or i can put it up raise it okay so to get the idea now we have a fully controllable stage and again, I can play with the saturation values of this uh, the Earth landscape, the stage landscape clip. So you can use any sort of like landscape clip for this one. It doesn't need to be a Earth landscape clip. It could be a height map landscape clip, or or maybe a noise landscape clip. Anything you want. Just play. You need to play with height multiplier. All right. Let me play around with the fading. I'm gonna put everything back to default. So, okay. Likewise, and I, if I reduce the mask pan. So here's what I'm getting. And I can play with the saturation value to like get some edging like this. Okay. All right. Now we have it. Okay. So then it's simply art directing. So basically you need to play with these values to, uh, and get the result that you are really looking for. I'm not really good with that. So I think it's a job for you. So now we uh, know how to work with high data in Terrain Magic and also now it's not just like you are playing around with these sliders but now you know what exactly uh, happening here and now you can experiment with that one also with earth landscape clip you have a whole world of data for you you can get any sort of height maps over here uh, yeah it's, it's a huge amount of data and also we have noise based landscape clip you can play with noises and create landscape based on noises and also you can bring external height data with the height map landscape clip using gaia houdini well creator you name it okay that's it for today and we are continuously improving our terrain magic and landscape clips along with open land so we will uh, try to see you with something interesting bye